Hello everyone and welcome to Flaming Azure Studios. In today's screencast, you will see how to use WordPress behind proxy. First, let me go to my website's folder, theme tester one. And now I have already installed WordPress locally on my machine. And then uh, now I have to edit this wp-config.php file. I'm going to open it uh, with my text editor, which is PHP Storm. And yes. This is my wp-config.php file. There is a lot of PHP here. No need to know anything about everything about it. Now go to the end of the docu of this file and then start adding some PHP code. First, you have to define and then single commas, single quotes, wp underscore proxy underscore host comma single quotes again enter your proxy address which proxy dot idm dot ac dot in this is my proxy address then terminate it with a semicolon now you have to add a few more lines define single quotes wp proxy port this is the port of your proxy if you don't know just ask your IT person comma single quotes 3128 semicolon terminate the whole statement with a semicolon the again write define again now this is your proxy username username comma single quotes my username I'm not going to write my original username I'm just going to write something which looks like my username terminate it with a semicolon again another you have to write your new password define in caps wp shift prox, proxy password comma enter your password I'm just going to put a bunch of access here for now terminate it with a semicolon now you need uh, to tell WordPress that there is no need to uh, use proxy for some example sites and local host for this you have to define another <coughs> that is wp proxy bypass underscore hosts comma single quotes local host comma if you want another uh, uh, host to another server to be included here without proxy just type a comma and then add that particular name example I'll just put example.com terminate it with a semicolon and that's it over you have successfully configured proxy for your WordPress installation the main reasons is most of us actually work behind some kind of proxy not most of us but quite a few of us actually work behind a proxy and it it becomes very irritating when WordPress cannot access the uh, various re theme requirements like suppose you have a theme and an XML file which wants to download some images from some website and WordPress doesn't allow you to do it because it is under a proxy that's all for this time folks see you again